Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the bronze match. Clone versus Lowry. It's going to be on Into Battle for the first game. And then from there, it'll be other maps once once we get to this <coughs> Definitely game. other maps. Yes. Nope, the same map twice. That doesn't happen. So, Clone starting out with Heavy Tank Factory. A bit more expected on this map. And Lowry starting out with Hovercraft Factory, which has come up an inordinate amount of times in this particular tournament. Especially hey, on the cool. typical vehicle maps. Yeah, which is very interesting. I don't recall there being any major changes at Hovercraft, so it must be just a metagame shift I didn't notice in any of the replays. I They've casted. always been kind of... That's true. They do always kind of come up. And unfortunately, with the replays not working, I haven't been able to really keep up as well with the metagame as I could have, although admittedly, Randy and Flipstick were kind enough to upload the replays. But we have live games now, so Clone is... Well, Kodachi around the side for raiding, and then Welder will be following that up. Pretty typical start, with Panthers following that up, and Scrubbers are not going to last against Panthers. No way. I mean, 220, even just a range. 220 range to, I think, 300? 250. Okay, so yeah, the Panthers will win out for range. Constructor spam. We'll do just fine against Scrubbers. Yeah, yeah. Welder Spam would definitely be an okay choice. Although, once against the Maces or Scalpels, it might be problematic. But <clears throat> against Scrubbers? No, no problem. I think he could, he could uh, make another... Uh, what is it called? Welder? Yeah. Just just fine. <laughs> I think it's better than uh, Pentor, even. Actually, he's starting to lose out a bit. Losing a Metal Extractor and Radar... Getting a Lotus up and not able to get that Panther up. I you usually put your command. If, if you want to do that, what Laurie was doing, you want to put that commander near that max. Yeah, so put it on the north side. Oh boy. Wow, these Scrubbers are actually doing a really good job. I mean, uh, Fall the damage that they should. Yeah. But they are doing the damage, that's the important thing. Doesn't matter whether or not they should, what matters is whether or not they are. And they are. But yeah, Clone, unfortunately. Didn't quite have his command in the best position. However, at the same time, his Kodachi is able to do some damage, getting into the base, get rid of a, gets rid of a quill, stopping him from, kill, from oh, building up. That's a big loss. That also should not happen. <laughs> wow. Okay. So clone. So Lowry has had a big loss. Clone has had a slightly smaller loss. And that Kodachi goes down after only killing a quill. A good kill, though, given where that quill was, but. Both players are pretty even, but Clone... Actually, Clone is well ahead in economy with Reclaim. But only with Reclaim. Mm -hmm. Mechs-wise, they are basically even. So Lowry moving with more Scrubbers and looks of it, and Clone going to have Panthers in his... One Panther so far, a second Panther being built up, and more Panthers on the way. Along with Welders. But yeah, these Scrubbers are going to just die once they hit the Panthers. Lori does not want to invest in a bigger unit just yet. Well, no, but the problem is still the Panther is going to be... Actually, well, the Panther doesn't fire that quickly, so the Scrubbers could overwhelm it. Six Scrubbers should be able to overwhelm one Panther. And there they come! There is... Nope, never mind. Nothing's happening. In the meantime... No, Lowry's still going for her Scrubbers, and there we go! Now they're overwhelming it! There it is! One of the Scrubbers does go down. And the Panther actually not down yet! Nope! Two Panthers do have enough firepower to get rid of the Scrubbers. No issue Three there. Points. <laughs> it's not dead. And if it's not dead, it's as alive as it was at full. No damage to your damage based on health. Not that kind of game. Whereas very few RTS games are. And Lowry got his quill back up. And he is expanding up to the center. So at least he is, he is building up a bit more. That's a good thing. Well... Getting more and more scrubbers, but yeah, I'm not really confident in their use. I think scalpels would be the way to go. Or at least getting a few scalpels as support to get rid of the Panthers. There's not a whole lot that Clone could do without going to Reapers, and even then that'd be kind of risky. Or going to Kodachis, and that would be difficult against the scrubbers. Yeah, I think scalpels were kind of strong against uh, early game tanks. <laughs> yeah, unless something has changed, they always have been. It's just that building up. Okay, clone has radar on the high ground, just to be sure. 
and it looks like he does have... Well, yeah, he's got full knowledge of exactly what Lowry's up to. And Lowry, for his part, knows about the radar tower, and that's... Or knows something's there, which is the radar tower. And moves to get rid of it, so at least Clone got some information, but not for long. And... That is going to be... Nothing major, really. And, and the radar tower gets back up. So Clone, unfazed by that, rebuilds the radar tower. While Lowry continues to expand, continues to build up. He's surprisingly not sending a quill over to the north side, though. Like the area he has... Okay, there it goes. Just as I say that, he starts to set up metal extractor, so never mind. And torpedo launcher? Oh, must have misclicked. Actually built a torpedo launcher in his base. Probably meant to build... A caretaker. And yeah. he notices it. <laughs> yeah, because he's using the integral menu. He has to be. And I'll get back to that in a second. Scrubbers are facing off against Panthers. The Panthers are doing a very good job stopping or damaging them slightly, but not killing them. Ah, uh, he gets one. He does get one, though, but losing a lot of Scrubbers in the process. And more moving in, though. The important thing is they got past the Panthers. Now that they mm. killed them. And if that... he didn't get behind those windmills. <laughs> oh, but he's not going to. He's moving back in the Panthers. Why did he do that? Ah, that was a mistake. Same time, though, he does have these, squir these scrubbers over to the front, and they are doing a decent amount of damage, but they are retreating to uh, safe place rather than retreating to their own death. But as I was saying, because the integral menu, you have your urchin is X followed by C, whereas caretaker is C followed by X. Get those out of order. I get those out of order all the time. Oh, and Lowry's Lowry throws in the towel. That's it. Wow. Okay, yeah, too many losses on Scrubbers. Yeah, uh, this is a best of three or best of five, by the way. Best of three. Finals are the only best of five. So I will be back with that next game in just a couple minutes. So stay tuned, everyone. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game two of Clone and Lowry on this time, guys are planes the one v one tournament for May. Is you okay? I'm Shadow PC3, joined by Flores the 14th. There are commentators. Me. That is him. Still me. Yes, he has ah, not changed his identity planes. in the last two hours. We haven't yeah. seen uh, this one yet. Yeah, actually, it's kind of surprising. That came up a lot the last one, in the March one, but yeah, this one, not so much. Anyway, we have. Well, Clone, I guess just to figure out. Well, just has to win this. Lowry needs to win this if he wants to get into game three, but Clone has to win this just to win and get third place. Yeah. And with that, we have the game starting. So Clone starting out on the west side with Klogibot Factory, while Lowry in their hand starting on the east side with No Factory. Go for a No Factory build. Oh, never mind. Klogibot Factory. I always say that too soon. E. Ah, Klogies versus Klogies. Yep. On this map, it's actually not entirely a usual thing. No, it's usually uh, hovers and vehicles. Or shields. Yep. Shields are common in this one, but yeah, cloakies don't see a whole lot of. Still kind of nice. I do like my cloakies. It's kind of my go-to stock, or my go-to of the safe factories. Can't really go wrong with claves. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Although, admittedly, you need to micro them really well. And it looks like Clone is just going for a quick scout. He's going for scout into economy. While Loudy going for heavy raid. I think Lowry's going to have advantage here, at least slightly. Attacking from the north. Interesting choice. Yeah, I think he's expecting Clone's going to expand a bit sooner than he actually did. He's going heavily for the north side. It's Clone that moves to the center uh, first. Yeah, Clone <coughs> is going very aggressive here. Which, he's done this entire tournament. He's actually been a lot more aggressive than normal. But yeah, he's moving forward. He has radar. I uh, you, you just do what you got to do. He is getting attacked, but he did... Well, he did push. He did scare it away. Lowry did move away from. The, or, yeah, Lowry moved away. Clone is pushing up. Should be able to stop Lowry, but we'll see. And Lowry, on the other hand, is he's expanding out. He actually does have a conjurer. He's jumping over to the southeast side and then to the south side, not taking the mechs in between, which is of no surprise really, because those mechs suck. They are one metal or less than one metal each. Whereas at least yep. in the southeast corner, it's one and a half. Laurie's keeping an eye on the, the big Maxis. As well as he should. I don't know if there's a Constructor is going there. 
and he sees there isn't any. Knows that Clone is going for the center of the map instead. Riot Cannon Battle Cannon. Two combat. Riot Cannon, yep. And now Nori responds with his own morph. Probably a Battle Cannon, or Battle Calm Riot Cannon. Uh, he won the, uh, Lori won the Glaive versus Glaive fight in the left corner. Well, yeah, I mean, he had more Glaives by far. No, it was just one versus one. Oh, was it? Oh, whoops. Well, actually, there's still a fight, another fight going on that Lowry is wisely retreating from in... Oh, no, Clone's retreating from, Lowry is not. But yeah, Lowry... No, show me your commander, Lowry. I, that's what, the one thing that is still missing is uh, an interface to look at commander morphs. Yeah. Only Rocket thing. launcher auto repair. Nice mix. I like that. That's the anti LT already. And you might. Yep. And that will <laughs> work out nicely given given Clone's style of play. Yeah, it's more range, same speed. Pretty much. You might want to know that uh, the rocket launcher has big splash damage. Almost the yeah. same as a. Uh, no, not the exact same, but it's similar to uh, uh, the right gun. Looks like it's about half the ride cannon, but still pretty good. Against the Glaze, that will be effective. But Lowry, he's taking a laser bath right now. That is not a good idea. It is bad for his health. Oh, he is auto repairing. <laughs> just takes out two turrets and. Oh, that's true. Auto repair free. system. But isn't auto repair that you just can take the laser and not have to worry about it? It's still damage. Exactly. But he is pushing back, breaking Clone's hold in the center. But Clone, on the other hand, deciding to go for the strong mechs in the south as a counter. Good idea. But Lowry keeps checking the north, the north side to make sure Clone isn't going for that. Also wise, but unfortunately he does not see that the south side has been taken. He might be aware of that, though. Let's just double check. He does not know, but he probably suspects because he saw the commander go south. Yep. Only one thing he can really and suspect And you don't want happens. to try that with Glaives. That's not going to work. Not against the Riot Cannon, that's for sure. However, against the Rocket Launch, the Glaives are not doing too badly. They have to be pushed back because of the Glaive support, but Lowry's Battle Calm on its own would not have survived yeah, that. But Lowry really should make something happen now, because every second that passes from here on, he's going to get behind in units so much. Yeah, given the economic advantage. Exactly. One Metal Extractor up already, and that's huge. It's four Metal on its own. I believe this is the stronger of the two. Yeah, it's the stronger of the two, by far. The other one's just two and a half. Still good, but not quite so much. Ah, uh, but Lori wants to pork up the center first. Nah. I don't know. He gets the radar. Okay, that's good. Well, if he attacks south of these rockets, he'll have a chance. And really, he's not going to be able to fight the glaives of the rockets, so he might as well go south of them to try to take out the expansion. He wants to take the Maxis in the center first. That makes up for the Max in the south. That's true. It's that a big does. one. The one he's building now is also free. Yeah, this one right here, oops, this one right here is a three metal. This is That's one and a half. So balance ultimately, yes, it does make it. It does make up for it somewhat, but yes, it's warrior, a riskier no? position. And Lowry is fully aware of this from the looks of it. He did see, yeah, he does see it. He knows the mechs is built and everything else is built up around it. So he knows now he. Now Lowry can, needs a uh, radar in the center. Yeah, he only has it in his main base. He's got it. And he's not got it on the queue. In fact, he's completely aborted his queue. And he forgot to finish the solar collector. Oh, oh, very close to it too, but yeah, not quite. And these... Oh no, why? The Rockers are all gonna die. Boom. Although no, Lowry's commander, uh, Lowry's commander comes in to save them. That does work out nicely. Wait, this rocket launcher is better than I... Uh, surprises me how good it is. It's always better than I think it is. Yeah, actually, I have it in one, I've had it in one of my comms for the longest time, but I very rarely use the common question, so I never really tried it too much. The Bombard common, I thought Rocket Launcher would make perfect sense. But... Oh, boy, boy, boy. 120... Oh, nine. man, this is... Clone's about to lose his commander. Looks at it, the Glaze is coming in for support, but even with that, I don't know if this is going to work. The table seemed to have turned slightly, though. Lowry's actually his commander is being threatened, but not as much, and... Oh, ah, I just missed he it. he got the commander, and he keeps his own. Just off-screen, the Rock was able to take care of the commander. Exactly. Just as I moved the camera away, accidentally. Oh well, anyway, Clone loses his commander, Lowry keeps his, and the south side is now pretty much open. And Lowry needs to take that, and once he does, he'll have the game. The but north side has also been taken by a clone. Yeah, Lowry and Clone are starting to kind of even it out. 
Lowry's taking it a bit more forward, but he's probably going to push back from there. Oh, right. this is the moment where you want forward. to make a lot of glaives. And Lowry is doing the exact opposite, making a lot of warriors. He's making big glaives. <laughs> you could call it that, yeah. They're definitely <laughs> counter glaives. He's making the anti glaive. And getting reclaim in the center, so making up for the fact that the metal extractor is here. Still should destroy it, though. That would be wise. I think those form warriors straight to his base and we'll just finish the game. I agree. Although Zeus is being built, so the time is of the essence right now. And Glaives coming in the north, they are going to be able to get rid of this expansion. Losing a few of their number in the process, but that will be fine. No, losing none of their number in the process. Just clean kill. All that's gone. But the Glaives coming in for Lowry to harass, and it looks like warriors are not going to go straight in. They're going to go around the side. Take care of the radar first, and then... Maybe only then go in, try to take care of the Zeus and everything else. And Glaives continuing to harass from Clun over to the north, coming into the base. There is a warrior that's set up to deal with them. So they will not pass here. Yep, all the Glaives go down. Warrior doesn't even take much of a scratch. And it looks like north side harassment going on for Lowry, just making sure he gets rid of everything, everything to the north. Gives it a couple Glaives to the center, but I don't know, might not be enough. I think you probably should have only kept had one one warrior, one rock go to the north to get rid of the metal extractors. Kept the rest of the I south. I doesn't know they are not defended. If he expects laser turrets near every max, then you want to send uh, okay, those then warriors. two warriors and one rock go. Still, he does have a warrior in the middle to cut off reinforcements to these glaives. And trapping them with, between all these warriors, these glaives are basically dead. The south max, well, one of the south maxes has been destroyed. The other south max is still alive. And these glaives are going to go down, so Clone loses these glaives to the warriors, has nowhere he can run with them. However, the warrior will get into the Zeus, but still, I think Lowry has this. Building I more think Rockos he uh, does uh, as well. Yeah, building more Rockos just for extra support. The warrior is getting rid of all the glaives before they deal with the Rockos, and the Rockos is able to deal with the Zeuses. And it doesn't look like any Rockos coming in from Clone, so no proper counter there. And that's going to be kind of it. And Lowry able to get rid of... Oh, now he's going for a defender push as well on top of that. He doesn't even care about the South... Actually, in fact, that South Max is the only thing that keeps that keeps Clone going. All he has is his main base for about 7 metal and the South Max for 4. However... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just build an HLT in your opponent's base. Glaives using the Solar Wall to their advantage somewhat, but to no avail. The Solar Wall was a perfect block. Stopping him from going around the back completely. And Lowry... Fends off another Zeus and keeps his commander alive. Of course, his warriors and Rocco are totally out of position. He needs to attack with them. Get to the center. The center is open. That should not be. Oh. Moving in a little late. Lowry's commander doing what it can, which is actually quite a lot. But even then, it's still problematic. Needs to regroup. Needs to push it out. And then that should be the game. The warriors are coming in. Will they get rid of the glaives? No, no, the glaives run away. And in the south we have more of oh, mechs here, and warriors. warriors are set up against those Zeuses, but the Rockos are the real answer. Unfortunately, the Zeus does move, dodges out a lot of the Rocco Rockos, but not all of them. Too many in play, and Lowry's commander comes in to finish it off, but his commander's actually taking a decent amount of damage. The glaives are surrounding it, and the Zeus just about stuns it out. The glaives are going to be able to kill it. It's going to die inside of its own forces if it dies. 400 health, 300. It's okay. 200. It lives. It doesn't live. It, it lives. barely lives. 129 health, but it I does not start die. Start moving back, dude. That would have been close. If it weren't for that, Louder's commander would have gone down, and all these rockers would have blown up with it, <laughs> thus giving Clone a comeback chance. As it stands, though, Louder is fine. And it looks like he's going to push in for the kill right now. These glaives are going to be a bit of a problem, but even then, I think it's not going to be that big of a problem. You're going to have to dodge these rockers, but so many of them in play that I don't see how this is going to be even feasible. But it looks like the glaives have managed to find a way through, but even then, a lot of them are going down to just the sheer number of rockets coming in. Pushing the rockets back, though. That is the big thing, messing up with their positioning. Like, Loudy. Loudy must be tired. He is moving all those forces to any response. Yeah, and he's not making glaives, and he's not really as active as he usually, as he usually is. This Apparently he was sick, though, I think. I mentioned something about that. Or you're not the only one who is tired. Yes, but I'm not playing. 
<laughs> and <laughs> casting is lot, much harder. <laughs> yes, but at the same time, casting is also real, okay. Playing is also invigorating, but you don't get that sort of no, demoralizing we... beat down. Like when you get hit a lot, kind of get demoralized. If you're awake, it's a lot easier to handle than if you're tired. Whereas if you're casting, you have that sort of demoralization. So you just <laughs> keep going and going and going, and it's invigorating yeah. to do. And then of course afterwards you just crash. But I'm not at that point yet. We still have a finals match to do, and we probably have a game three on the bronze match. We'll see though. Clone very effectively pushing back this stuff here. Loud, however, has such a great line. I'm surprised he hasn't taken out the south expansion. That's the one thing I'm a bit concerned about. He's uh, sending uh, the, the hammers now. Yes, he is. Right as I say that. Time. And the Rocco line slowly moving forward. No warriors to support, or one warrior to support, but not really in position. And the hammers are, well, they're trying, but Lowry doesn't actually know about where exactly, well, he sort of knows where to hit, but he's trying to hit a nano frame. The thing he's trying mm -hmm. to hit was an unconstructed radar tower. Good luck with that. Those hammers just, not just giving up, not even bothering. Same time, Zeus's are coming in, trying to hit the Rocco line. The Rocco line is too close together. Warrior does go down, unfortunately. More Rocco's being built. This is pure Rocco. Just simple Rocco spam. Clone not adjusting, not going for Rocco spam of his own. Getting a lot of glaze, which is not a bad idea, but this many Rocco's. Doesn't hey, matter, we are on to game three. game three. And that will be on whatever map it's on when it's on. That will be. Knowing Clone, he will probably take his white rabbit again. Oh, yeah. Uh, that. That will be a thing. Okay, well, anyway, be back with that in just a time. And until then, stay tuned. And possibly inject me with amphetamines. No, that would be too much. Welcome back, 0K fans, to Game 3 of the Bronze Match, the last game of the Bronze Match. This is going to be Kloon and Lowry once again, because that's the Bronze Match players. And we're going to have it on Red Comet. Our all-time favorites. Hmm? Yes, your all-time favorite. Everyone's favorite. favorite. Everyone else's favorite. Actually, I thought everyone else's favorite was, was the big one, Comet Catcher Redux. I haven't oh, it seen matter. this tourney. I don't understand why. Or maybe probably Randy will come up in the will, finals. Will it. I guarantee it'll come up in the finals. It's a Randy's default map. Yep. And Lowry going for no factory. No one going for light vehicles. Oh, Lowry decided to go for heavy tank. Sorry, light vehicles instead. It'd be kind of funny if at some point someone did in fact just go for no factory. Calm morph rush, which I'm sure has happened. I just you know yeah, I just use the factory to uh, block an incoming rocket missile. Yeah, just plop it down. <laughs> yeah, just clutch <laughs> plop. In your face. <laughs> Shield it off. It's only that or just put your own factory in front of the exit of the of your opponents. So he cannot build anymore. Yep, pretty much. That's all I can do. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cybernetic Pony pointing out in the chat. Manor Factory. Perfect <laughs> yeah. name. I love it. That's exactly what it would be. But you have to get there without plop, so that can be kind of difficult. Yeah, but the point is that it's bad manner. <laughs> and somebody wastes free darts now. That's untypical uh, for yeah, Lowry. Lowry, Lowry He's tired. is out of it. Like I said, I heard he's sick, so I'm going to just... Cut him slack on that one. He is apparently ill. Wait, what do you mean by eraser glow? Sorry, someone's pointing out something about eraser glow. I don't know what they're talking about. The, the if you move the, if you erase something, you, you have now the mo that that effect where you have light underneath your cursor. Oh yeah, that's right. That's that's a thing. Don't but have you that? disabled um, uh, map markers, but. I People are wondering if they still see the eraser effect. No, they just see the effect of the click. I okay. Think. I don't think they see the effect of the erase. 
Also, I gotta double check. I think I might actually have an older local widget that's overriding it. Probably change that. Anyway, Lowry moving forward with his commander. He has taken his main base. He has taken his opening and also moved a constructor over to the north. While Kluon a little bit behind with his constructor, he's moving to the center but a bit more slowly and his constructor is one mech behind what Lowry has. So Lowry is a bit ahead here. I think he might be starting to fall back just as a result of building some defenses. Same time though, Scorcher coming in from the south and Lowry going to lose a metal extractor thanks to that Scorcher and the radar as well. His own Scorcher getting stuck within his base. Second Scorcher coming in however, which will be able to finish it off. But two nice. metal extractors gone. Oh, Ouch. it's okay. It's uh, good for now. And that does kind of get rid of the advantage of moving north quickly though. That's the one problem. And Kloon taking advantage of that to move south. Though moving straight into the center rather than going to the north. Like north center. Yep. So Kloon being... wants to get to this cluster before... Uh, uh... Yeah, the one over here. It looks like we have... Now Scorcher coming in for another go, but it's not going to be able to do much, unfortunately, for it. Cannot get to the Mason. The Mason is too close to the Lotus. And the Mason just chews it right up. Just eats it for the cause. Yum. And another Scorcher goes down for Lowry. He is... He is throwing away units, which is unfortunate. But he still is pretty even. He actually has an economy advantage, so he can afford to do that somewhat. At least yeah, for now. a little bit. Exactly. For the moment, but it is going to be tricky. But so those individual units die to groups of units, like two Scorches lose to five Scorches, two Glaives lose to five Glaives. Yeah, which means you do want to keep your, your units alive as much as possible. Although, Lowry not doing a bad job, not doing the best job micro there. Probably could have gone north of that oh, Scorcher. Oh, Clone might lose another Lowry. Mason. Oh, nice! Cutting off the expansion attempt. That's going to give Lowry some breathing room. Fortunately, that Scorcher will but not be able to get back in. But he is spread that. out a lot now. That's true. Clone is fairly... They stretch very thin. Yeah, these Lotuses, one is not enough to deal with five Scorchers coming through. Heck, four Scorchers is enough he to do a six of calm dive. does have a leveler. He should and team that leveler up with his commander now. Yeah, because it's basically two levelers. Oh, he's going to lose his commander now. Well, we'll see. Riot Cannon comes on. Yeah, it's dead. No way around it. That is a successful calm dive. Do what it can. Get rid of... All the Scorchers, though. But that's yep. a temporary advantage. Very, very, very temporary. It's hard to, 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 to uh, bank on that. Because he doesn't have an army to quickly do something with. Nope. Just a leveler and two Scorchers. Even out someone, but a Slasher is in place to try to deal with this. And Lowry coming in from the north. He is actually dealing quite a bit of... Or will be dealing quite a bit of damage if he's able to get in safely. And the north side is very r little defended. But Kelowna, I think, has... Yes, he has knowledge of what's going on there. He does see the radar dots coming in, and he's just about to get visual confirmation. At the same time, he does have radar dots of where Lowry has expanded, so he knows exactly what Lowry has set up. And Klon knows that... Sorry, Lowry knows that Klon has set up in the middle, but no much beyond that, other than line of sight into the main base, and that's not doing him much good. While at the same time, Klon coming in very strong, getting rid of... Actually, getting rid of quite a lot, surprisingly. Just one Scorcher. No, never mind, more than one. Two Scorchers. But still able to get rid of a Metal Extractor and a Lotus. Once again, those donating metal, so Lowry has a way back from there. And Lowry has taken the north side. He's got more Metal Extractors. Clone has more Reclaim. Lowry, however, does not have the center. And that is a big problem. In fact, I think Lowry might have fewer Metal Extractors. Yeah, he's either. behind. Like quite a bit, actually. Which means we are going to see, well, we're going to see Clone basically just overwhelm Lowry at this point, unless Lowry is very clever about his harassment. But given that most of the mechs are inside a defender nest, kind of a sparse one though, it's going to be difficult to get through. Lowry, however, going for the northern harassment, and he has an even army. Clone's are, is a bit more clumped up right now, but Lowry's is the same size, so he can't use any sort of numerical advantage. And this is the last chance he has. He needs to be able to make this pay off, otherwise he's not going to be able to rebuild in time. And nice pullback on the Scorchers there. Unfortunately, loses one for free. That is not a good start. Bit of a split up though. He does have a slight numerical advantage going for him. And 
Unfortunately, that has kind of turned around. Lowry losing a lot of Scorchers, able to kill about three or four, but losing almost his entire set. And he has still has his uh, two levelers idling. Um, yeah. Those levelers would have been perfect up there. I don't think uh, trying to raid at this point was the, was the way to play. No, he should probably switch over to Leveler Ravager and try to push forward directly. Just he should have tank changed out. something, sticking to Scorchers against someone who's doing the same. On a bigger economy, it's just not going to work. No, it isn't. However, he is still going to be able to get rid of a couple of Metal Extractors. There are enough defenders, I think, to be able to stop this. But actually, you know what? No. These Scorchers should be able to go through. In fact, I think they could... They could nah. tank the defenders. The Lotus is the problem. There's a commander and a Scorch is coming. It's There's always uh, turrets and versus uh, turrets and army versus just an army. Then it's something you do not want to do. That's true. I was thinking the local advantage and the size would probably do it, but I suppose not enough. Leveler, two levelers. That's all he's got. Nothing coming. Up. That's no ravagers coming up for Clone. He's got five ravagers. So well, four up, five fifth in production, or no, five up. Yeah, Lowry is going to have to deal with Ravagers, and that's a tough thing to deal with. Bit of a counter unit and a Scorcher, but even then, not going to last long enough. And two of his Masons, no, one of his Masons goes down. The other one might go down. It, yeah, it goes down, and at the same time, Lowry loses his Masons. Clone loses a few Scorchers, but that's not a big deal. Clone very nearly has double the economy of Lowry. Turned around the early advantage, and at this point, the levelers are... In a tough spot. Scorch is coming in to deal with the Ravagers, which isn't a bad idea. Like I said, they're kind of a counter unit, especially in these high numbers. But he's not going directly for it. Instead, he's going for another raid. Given the lack of Scorches, this isn't a bad idea, but at the same time, he could be counterattacked. The Ravagers just go for a counterattack. They aren't, but if they did, that'd be huge. And an air switch, if you pointed out, has just completed. Yeah. With Ravens coming in, Scorchers do see that. They're probably going to go for the factory. Definitely going to go for Tom the caretakers. Wants to, um deal with this attack first and then play from there. The he doesn't gonna, want to counter attack. No, but the attack's going to just get rid of this air factory and a lot of workers too. That The Scorchers need to get behind the air factory though. That's what they need to do. Lowry, if he can deal with that, he's going to have a much easier time and no! Why is he not going to the air factory? He needs to get the factory. That's his biggest threat. Kill that factory. If you can't kill the factory, ah, it's too late. The Raven's already up. Although the factory does go down at the very, very last second. Ah, uh, he'll just build a new one. <laughs> he will just build a new one. He needed to build one earlier to get rid of the Raven in the first place. He now has one Raven bomb just, now. That's one too many. Lowry does not need to have that in play. He has a lot of cons on this factory. <laughs> he does. But even with that, losing Radar Tower. Not the best choice for the only bomb that bomber is going to drop. Ah, oh, well. And Scorcher versus Ravager fight. Gonna be tricky. I think the Scorcher will lose just given the numbers. Definitely. That's Although, about actually, a good flank this. might do it. No, never mind. Just going for the raid. Avoiding the Ravagers completely and just going around them. Getting Ravagers out of aren't bad against Scorchers. They aren't. And, and especially uh, in large numbers. They have a lot more value in there. Yeah, it's just when you have large enough numbers, the Scorchers cannot dodge. That's the only advantage Scorchers have, really. Is their speed? Well, the scorchers are doing a pretty good Crashers. job. Crashers. Uh... Wait, crashers, plural? Yeah, two. Oh, okay, only two. That's good. I don't see them though. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, that's all he needs. Although right uh, now the raven's just sort of floating aimlessly. Plan is really playing this safe. As I mean, not surprising. Although admittedly, Lowry is getting a bit of an opportunity to get back. His, his economy is very nearly evened out. And those Ravagers are not actually doing a great job, all things considered. Yeah, Lowry is starting to push back a bit. Getting shield by factory as well. Interesting choice. And there's such a massive defender nest. I don't know, that's going to be tough to get through. I mean, I suppose you could go for Impaler or possibly just now go for enough shadows, or sorry, enough phoenixes to overwhelm it and then burn it all. Tough call. However, Clone, he is going a bit north with the Ravagers, but losing a few of them, actually. Quite a few of them to the Scorchers. Three of them for the cost of eight Scorchers or so. I'd say that's a relatively even trade. Especially given that's kind of a no-man's land. 
Yeah. I think everyone's tired now. I think everyone might be tired. This is no typical... Uh, this is OTA play, by the way. Putting your defenders in such lines. Oh, really? Wow, they must be tired. Falling back on 10-year-old habits. These are... Uh, in, in OTA, you would uh, have lines pointing straight to your opponent instead of making lines around your opponent. Because there would be a wreckage on the first turret and then all enemy shots would hit the right. first wreckage and you could shoot over your own wreckage. Yeah, well, still applicable. Not sure about that, how you really counter that. That's the only problem. Is like, how do you get through that? It looks really like as if we've come full circle with uh, 1997. Yeah. <laughs> Although roaches are coming in. Lowry's setting up a roach. Actually, how many roaches does he have? He has two. Doesn't yeah, matter, though. Game over. Uh, that was a bit underwhelming game. It. That was, unfortunately, for game three. However, we do have finals next. We'll be best of five between Randy and Google Frog, so stay tuned. Hey, son! Wow. It's dawn. The sun is the same is one I'm seeing? I think so. We are on the same okay. planet, right? Uh, I think so. Okay, good. <laughs>